do folks, how you doing? Just a quick one. <laughs> I thought we'd have a little bit of a chat about you will own nothing and be happy. <laughs> will you be happy or will you own nothing? There's the questions. Now, over the last few years, I've, uh, I've been talking about this as they've been talking about this and they tell you, they blatantly tell you, you're going to own nothing and be happy. Um, I don't think people like us would be happy, but if we're going to acquiesce, we are going to own nothing and that's a fact. They don't put out these, uh, I wouldn't say threats, but uh, promises if they didn't know what they were doing. And I assure you, they do know what they're doing. Best minds in the world paid unlimited funds to work out how to screw with your heads. But I know there's lots of folks who believe that they can dodge it. And I assure you, if you're staying within the system, if you're gonna depend on the system, if you're gonna need the system, there is no avoiding it you will own nothing and be happy. That's an absolute fact. It is a fact. They own the system. If you decide you're gonna be in the system or use the system, no matter how clever you think they are, I know there's lots of people who think they're a bit more clever than the, the ones running this shit show. Uh, <laughs> unlimited funds, best minds in the world. <laughs> you ain't as clever as what they've got working on you. I absolutely assure you. So if you if you are one of those who think you've got a, a super duper plan to outsmart them while staying within the system, <laughs> you're fucked. <laughs> you're absolutely fucked. I mean let's face it, crypto, look at look what just happened to crypto. Now I always maintained that was going to happen from day one of crypto, years and years ago. It was only ever a carrot dangling to get you used to cashless society that's all it was and it did just that it pulled people in left right and center and yeah well it convinced an awful lot of people that that was the way forward it convinced an awful lot of people that this decentralized platform can't be affected by the, the parasites <laughs> they own everything that's why you will own nothing they own it, they created it, they run it. Of course they can bring it down. They can create and destroy absolutely anything. And the minute you think you've got a foolproof system where what they can't touch, you, you've got this false sense of security and they're gonna bring you down. I absolutely guarantee. So if you're staying within the system, just remember you are going to own nothing and you are going to be happy or not that bit I should imagine don't matter but you're gonna to have to allow them to brainwash you into being happy otherwise it's going to be a fuck miserable existence isn't it uh, the crypto like I say I've been telling friends for an awful long time that uh, they control it and they will bring it down the I did think in all honesty the banks had come down before crypto but they destroyed crypto first I don't know I haven't looked into the shell of crypto and see what's remaining and see if people are still gonna stay within that and still think that they're going to own something <laughs> but you're gonna own nothing and be happy and I'm not saying I'm not saying take your money out of crypto and put it in the bank or put it under your bed <laughs> I don't know, I dig a fucking hole like I do, but dig your fucking hole and what good is that when when they destroy what money is? You see, as, as big an illusion crypto is, fiat currency money is just the same illusion uh, other than the fact that you've got something in your hand, you've got a paper promise in your hand, but the reality is Fiat currencies, the value of fiat is still just as much an illusion as the value of crypto. The only thing keeping it afloat is your your mental capacity, your belief that it holds any value. And the reason you have a belief it holds value is because they allow you to hold that belief that it holds value. Because at any time with no notice whatsoever, they can remove the value of that. 
then it's worthless. <laughs> and don't be thinking you, you can outsmart that shit. And I know lots of people say gold and silver and yeah, we can say yeah, it's tangible. You've got something solid in your hand. But, and, and it can protect some wealth, I'm absolutely convinced. Gold and silver can protect some wealth, it can hold some wealth, but when the shit hits the fan, it'll be worthless. It will be worth something again one day, and technically it'll probably still be worth something on a technical scale, but the reality is you'll be able to do absolutely fuck all with it. Nothing. And I've maintained this all along. People say, oh, we get gold and silver and we can trade, and uh, no way in this fucking world. What you've got to think of is the, the amount of people that have got gold and silver. Now you think about it, not in the terms of how many people are holding gold and silver, how many people around you are holding gold and silver? Now, and, and that's the most important thing, how many people around you know that there's a, a tangible asset there that has has some value that you can trade with when the shit hits the fan. How many people around you are actually woke to the reality of the world and what is coming and what's going to happen? That's, that's the important thing. Because I assure you, when shit hits the fan, and it clearly going to, it's clearly going to, when the food shortages seriously hit, and they are going to, when they do, you are going to need food for you, for your animals, for, for everything. If you're not self-sustaining, if you've got no stockpile, if you're relying on, on whatever they allow you, as in the, the depopulation stores opening up, but serving you this shite, poison shite, uh, all of the all of the scenarios and maybe even the water coming out of your tap the poisoned water coming out of your tap see everything's fucking tainted that they offer you everything's tainted that they allow you to have and they will still take it away from you but when they do take it away from you when the, the depopulation stores no longer open up because of food shortages and the stocks or the shelves are empty and they still open the doors just to take the piss <laughs> So the masses of people walking and walk around scratching their fucking arses and the only things available is toilet roll <laughs> But when that happens <coughs> You're going to have to trade something surely um, What do you think is tradable? You say, oh, I've got I've got a silver coin here <laughs> That's worth around 20 odd quid Maybe by then it'll be worth 100 quid once the shit hits the fan and they take the cash away and <clears throat> maybe it'll be worth 600 quid. But either way, you want some potatoes? I got a bit of silver here. What the fucking hell good is that bit of silver to anybody when they need clean water? You can swap some clean water for potatoes. If you have some clean water, they have some potatoes, you've got a deal going, haven't you? They've got some pasta or some rice, and they've got a bit of meat, maybe a rabbit they caught. There's a deal to be had. You go to somebody who's getting by in a shit at the fan situation, nobody's going to be affluent in any, any degree. Everybody is going to be getting by. So you're going to take them something to trade for whatever they've got. Nobody's going to take your golden fucking silver. Nobody's going to take your gold and silver. If anybody does, it'll be somebody who's got plenty of something and they'll say, yeah, I'll take your entire gold coin, your sovereign. <laughs> I'll take that for this uh, three slices of bread <laughs> and a potato. And that's, that's what your gold's going to get you. Now, how long do you think your gold's going to last? If you put everything you've got into gold now, or silver, how long do you think it's going to last when they can literally dictate the terms? And there ain't nobody going to be generous because nobody's going to give a shit. <coughs> if, if they've got something and you haven't, they're not going to care. They're not going to care how much the gold or silver coin was worth the chances are they're not even going to want it not for anything not for any amount 
but you will swap literally everything you've got for one meal you absolutely will because you won't have the luxury to choose this is how the elitists have got you this is how they get you this is how they own you you can't do anything without their say so and if you think you can wait till that sort of shit comes about there's going to be very few people in the scheme of things that can clean the water when if the taps don't work anymore the electricity don't work anymore there will be very few people that can generate heat in the home. We can all say, yeah, light a fire. Most places haven't got coal fires or anything, so they can't go and get wood to burn in the fire. A lot of places have gas fires. How are they going to heat their home? What are they going to do? How are they going to cook food when they've got electricity and gas? What if none of that works anymore? How do you cook your food? Has anybody thought of this shit? Now I know there are some people out there that have thought long and hard about it. They've worked out how they're going to clean the water. They've worked out how they're going to hunt for food. They've worked out how they're going to uh, keep warm. But have you worked out how many people won't have these abilities? But these that haven't got those abilities might be quite tough and I'm damn sure there are quite a lot of tough people out there that don't have these abilities and they're going to be out there looking for somebody who has got these abilities not so you can help them so they can take from you what you've got they're not going to be looking for friends they're going to be looking for what you've got if you've got stocks and you're shouting about how much stock you've got that's what they're going to come for if you've got the ability to clean water and you're shouting about the ability to clean water that's what they're going to come for if you've got the ability to defend yourself they're going to come for that fucker too don't think that it's going to be much of a deterrent to some folks and yeah obviously some people go oh, I won't go there he's got a crossbow some people will go oh, he's got a crossbow let's go and get it <coughs> the uh, world is wonky and there's some real wonky folks about and some real tough folks about some of them don't give a shit about you some of them don't give a shit whether you get to eat later they give a shit whether they get to eat later you know when it's me and my family need to eat you've got some food my family are starving most people are going to be thinking how do I get that from them not how do I go and catch a rabbit the first thought is how to come and get your shit so the world is fucking wonky and what isn't ever going to save you is crypto gold and silver stockpiling food for a lot of people a lot of people will stockpile food a lot of people will get took off them can you prevent somebody coming and taking your, your shit? Gangs of somebody, not just like an individual coming and saying, I want your shit. Yeah, you can stand and fight them, you can pull out your weaponry and you can defend yourself. What do you do when gangs of people kick your door in for your shit? How do you get by through that? Well, the best advice would be, don't be where your shit is. <laughs> keep your supplies and your family in two different places look like you're struggling just like every fucker else is what can I say but this is a cold hard reality it's a tough world and it's gonna get tougher there's some real bad people out there and they're gonna get real bad they're gonna get a hell of a lot worse than they are right now when the shit hits the fan when there's nothing there for them food shortages are coming I promise you hunger can change everybody you think being hungry puts you in a shitty mood imagine starving ongoing starving your family's starving your kids are crying your wife's crying you're crying you're hungry you got two choices you will sit there and fucking starve to death or you get your ass out there and you try and find some food by any means necessary 
this is where the world's going to be and this is what the majority of people would do in a shit at the fan situation the food shortages that they tell us are coming they tell you they're telling you the food shortages are coming people are sitting there like it's fuck all people don't give a fuck they're just like oh, i'll be all right i'll be all right here yeah. You know, I've got my fucking universal goodie. <laughs> oh, I've got three packets of fucking pasta and two bags of rice in the cupboard. I'll be all right. I've stockpiled. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Now, I don't know how long, how long it takes to starve a, starve a world out. But I would say it's not going to be simple. It's really not going to be a simple thing to get through. It really isn't. You've got the elitists, which won't only have stockpiles of food and the means to create more, they'll have private security. <laughs> Enough to deal with the shit and the shit is the fan situation because they know it's coming. They can prepare. That is the way forward. <laughs> you, get, you get yourself protected. Now we look on getting ourselves protected as getting a bit of weaponry to handle ourselves. The elitists look on getting yourself protected as surround yourself with a fucking army. <laughs> and yes, they can feed them too. So the army will be very grateful. <laughs> so folks, listen, you've got to be more than careful out there. You've got to be more than diligent out there. If you're going to stay in the system, you will own nothing and be happy. That is the system, that's what it offers you, that's what it is offering you. That's what they're telling you. This is where it's going to be. You're not gonna be happy. <laughs> You're not gonna be happy. I'll tell you the ones who are gonna own nothing and be happy. The brainwashed, the ones that survive the jabs, the ones that survive all the shit and the bullshit and the propaganda and the, the monkey pox. <laughs> <laughs> I had to mention fucking monkey box. How fucking stupid are people? Jesus Christ. But uh, <laughs> but the reality is they're the ones that will own nothing and be happy because they will believe all the shite they've been told. They will believe it's for their own good. They will believe that yes you can eat insects and be healthy. <laughs> you'll be you'll be taking these tablets to uh, clean the water you'll be taking tablets to fill the belly I should imagine supplements this is instead of food you're gonna eat these insects this shit that we've made with insects and and chemicals lab-grown fucking meats and shit like that these are the fools that are going to be happy they're gonna be swallowing all that shite and then uh, yeah telling you it tastes nice <laughs> That's where the world's going to go. That's what's going to happen. But the reality is, people like you and me aren't going to fall for that shit. So we're not going to eat that shit. So we're not going to do that shit. So what are we going to do? There's your question. What are you going to do? Now, I see lots of people who say that they're awoke, think that they're awoken. And I take one look and I think you're going to fall at the first fucking hurdle. Some of these people that you guys are listening to, I'm gonna watch them fall at the first fucking hurdle. I absolutely guarantee you. Because most of the people that are talking to you haven't got a fucking clue what they're talking about. They're, they're doing it for shits and giggles. They're doing it for likes and pats on the back. They're doing it to be told that they're a fucking legend. But reality is they don't fucking know and they haven't got a fucking clue. They're still talking to you about parking tickets when the world's in the way it is. Where it's going the way it's going. You know, serious food shortages are coming and people are still trying to tell you how to get out of parking tickets. <laughs> There's more important shit going on in the world than your parking tickets, speeding fines and all that shit. There's some serious shit going on out there. And I have a lot of people, a lot of people asking me about parking tickets, speeding tickets and all these small world fucking problems. When the reality is the world is fucked. People need to be working out how they're going to feed themselves through a fucking, through a depopulation, fucking infused uh, food shortage. We know their game. We know what they're up to. And what they're doing is distracting you with bailiffs and bollocks. 
You need to get these bailiffs and bollocks out of your fucking heads. You really do. You need to get your speeding fines out of your fucking heads. You need to learn how to deal with that shit fairly quickly. You can learn how to deal with that shit or don't do it. <laughs> There's another thing, you know what I mean? If you can't handle a speeding ticket, don't fucking speed. If you can't handle a parking ticket, don't park where you know you're going to get a ticket. These are, these are uh, fundamentals, really. Um, you don't say fuck them and then turn around to somebody else and go, do I do this? Well, you just said fuck them. You, you say fuck them when you know what you're doing and you can deal with this shit. When you're in a situation where this shit isn't going to affect you. But reality is, you need to concentrate your efforts on some serious fucking shit. There's nobody coming to save you. Trump ain't coming to save you. Q ain't coming to save you. And I know there's some people still hanging on to that shit. And yes, I, I fully believe Trump's going to get back in again. It's not a case of voted in. That they're selected, not elected. It's theatre. It's games. It's, it's just theatre for your mind. They want your mind. They play these games for your mind. And another round of fuckery from the Trump scenario will keep everybody distracted for another year, won't it? People like to give a chance to this shit. They like to say, oh, we'll, we'll wait and see what happens. We'll just wait and see what happens. Well, by then it's happened, hasn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you don't wait and see what happens when it's tyranny. That's that's not the <laughs> it's not the best plan. We'll just see how it plays out. Oh shit, now we're in the shit and we can't get out of the shit. Now we've got no food, what are we going to do? The electricity's gone off, it's not coming back on and the taps aren't working. What are we going to do? <laughs> Let's let's watch a video of some fucking idiot telling us how to get out of a parking ticket. <laughs> let's fucking stamp our feet about council tax. These uh, these are not the issues at the minute. The world is fucked. The world is fucked, and the world is fucked mainly because people are concentrating on these fucking silly issues that that they really shouldn't be concentrating on. So, uh, hey. First step, people always say, so what should I do then? So how do I fix it? First thing is wake the fuck up. Get your head out the fucking sand. If you're just gonna sit in your house, in the street, first step, innit? First step, you're there, you're trapped. You've got your own little prison. Your prison of your own making. Your home, your home, your safe haven. You close the door and you feel safe. You're really not safe. You're really not safe. It's a, a dangerous old game. But anyway, on that note, I'm where I'm going and people are trying to contact me. So I'm going to have to go. And uh, yeah, folks, wake up. Especially the ones that think they're woken and are depending on bollocks that's being controlled by the elitists. If, you, if you're going to depend on the shit that they control, don't be surprised when they control it out of your grasp. So, all good news again. <laughs> and on that note, folks, have a good one, and I'll see you soon. Ta-da!